everyone, DC Eric here, and I know it's been a little while, but uh, I was in a little bit of a move, so now I'm prepared to do a video for you. Now this, of course, was requested by Karma Punch that I should do a gameplay video of Troy for MS-DOS. If you didn't know this already, I did a video previously on a review for Troy for MS-DOS. Now, um, of course, in this gameplay video, there's no sound effects and there's no music. That's not because I didn't want it like that, but that's the way uh, JJ Soft or Sato Games had programmed the game. If you didn't know this already, you can grab Troy for MS DOS available at SatoGames.com under Troy 2000, and it is completely compatible with Windows, and you can use an Xbox 360 controller. I have actually worked on uh, getting this compatible with Windows, and uh, I gave. Um, uh, Sato Games, a copy of the game, so they could release it to the public. Alright, um, so why don't we start this game? Now, of course, there's a uh, speed that you see there, and that should be your difficulty as explained in the video. So um, we're just going to do it mid um, uh, speed there. So you can uh, shoot with the X, and then you can jump with the A, or you can use up with the joystick. Ooh, looks like I got hit there. All right, so let's let's get the, uh, take this a little seriously now. So your objective in the game is to obviously collect all the diamonds and watch out for the enemy's fire or attacks. Now I tried to get this working with the, uh, the D-pad, but for some reason it uh, did not work too well with uh, DOSBox, so I was forced to have to use the, the joystick for moving. Probably use some sort of emulator or uh, uh, like a controller emulator of sorts, so you could use the D-pad. Alright, so here we are on to level 2. Obviously the beginning of the game is going to be pretty simple. As we get further into the game, it's going to become a little more difficult. And now, of course, we see a new enemy on the screen. Uh, looks like some sort of fly that shoots a, a fireball downwards. Now, this game is pretty long, and uh, I'm not really sure uh, how long it'll take to actually beat this game. It took me a little while, I believe. Might be a little bit easier this time. The last level, oh, it's pretty difficult, let me tell you that. Well, the last level, and it's not really a last level, but the last, the second last level is the actual last level, and then the last level is, uh, well, I don't want to give it away too much. you got to check it out for yourself as I get through this game. And here's another new enemy. Uh, this time, the enemy flies up and down and shoots left and right. It's kind of like a spider, but uh, it doesn't really, it's not on the ground, so, yeah. All right. I remember when I first played this game, I think it was in high school, so that was about 2002, and uh, been a fan of the game ever since. Oh, looks like I jumped into a spike. And then uh, shortly after, I didn't know he made a sequel. So the game was developed under the JJ Soft name, and then when Troy 2000 came out, he developed under Sato Games. I guess it's a more professional name. I'm not really sure why there was a name change at all. Maybe he was developing with other people. I have no clue. I almost died there. Alright. So for a game with no sound effects and no music, it's still really, really fun. And it's to me, it's a classic for, uh, for DOS. James Sato is a really good developer, and he, he knew exactly 
uh, like he was really good at level design and all that, and he knew what he was doing to create some pretty amazing games. Now, of course, uh, Troy and Troy 2000 aren't the only games in the series that he has made. There's Hopmon, and then there's another one I can't really remember the name uh, right now, so... Uh, just be uh, aware of those games. You can check them out at Sado Games. Again, sadogames.com and uh, you can play you can play some demos of the games and then you can purchase them there as well and they are compatible with the uh, new versions of Windows as well alright, oh! wasn't paying attention there now, as you can see, yes, there's cannons now in the game they were actually in the last level and I didn't uh, mention that at all oh, ooh, I almost got hit there Jeez. So there's a few uh, few deaths. So it would have been pretty cool if they kind of added like some leaderboard thing where it would tell you how many times you died in the game. And, and if it actually had a score, that would have been cool. But I, I guess there's a reason, a good reason why the game never had score. And that is because... Oh, jeez. Um... That's because you'd probably end up having the same score anyway if you beat the game. I'm not sure, but I believe Troy 2000 has something similar like that. Well, it's a, you, in Troy 2000, you uh, climb a tower, so anytime you die, it, it records that. Here's another uh, annoying new uh, way to die, and uh, oh, see, yeah, the drips in the pipes. They can go from fast to slow, and sometimes if you you go too quick, you don't know if if it's gonna drip anymore. All right, so let's take our time here. There we go. That one's done, and I'm just gonna wait for that to go, and we made it. All right, a very hard level here. Just want to make sure we can hit that enemy. And we can go down here. And I guess this is a pretty difficult part. You got to make sure you're not going to hit that spike on the right and down. I mean the upper one. Yeah, yeah if you you don't want to jump, obviously. So, uh, yep, I got hit. And then we're going to end up doing the level over again. Not overly uh, professional at this game, but uh, not too bad, I guess. As I said in my, uh, my review video, I believe there's some sort of way you can edit the levels. So if you find it, it too difficult at points, you can use your text editor and edit the levels to make it more easy for you. We go, level 7 is now completed, and we're on to level 8. It's not overly difficult, I don't believe. There we go. Now we can use that thing, and I jumped too quick. I sit there and say, as I sit there and say the levels aren't too difficult, I screw up. So that, that's going to happen a lot in, in this video. Um, so I mean, like, it's pretty cool. You get infinite lives and that. Uh, I guess it adds to the simplicity, I guess. Um, yeah, it's not. It's a hard game, but you're able to at least um, have the inf oh, oh, infinite lives, so that kind of helps you out to get uh, get through the game without worrying about game over in that. So, yeah, I, have, I apologize for the. Uh, little uh, mess up while I speak. It's just it's kind of hard uh, to concentrate on the gameplay and talk at the same time. I'm, and I'm sure I'm not the only one who does these videos and has a difficult time trying to talk and play at the same time.
Of course, there's going to be a few parts in the game where you're like, oh, you're almost, you were almost going to die, and you survive. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. All right, made that. And just enough to get there. And one of my favorite parts now is the cannon. Gotta make sure we dodge that. And we did. Sweet. So now, I think it's going to become a little more difficult again, as we have to try and dodge the bullet and get to the other side. And there we go. We beat the level. Level 9's done. Alright, here we are now on level 10, where the game is starting to get a little more difficult as we got these um, bugs that, that shoot the things left and right and we also got the water drips and spikes to dodge here but look at that I made it alright so this one doesn't look overly difficult it was just the beginning that was really difficult now we can collect all these jewels here and shoot the enemies on the ground. Alright, I think there's one level that is actually uh, kind of hilarious. Um, I think you have to watch out uh, or not collect all the diamonds and and collect only one. It's a confusing level. And we'll get to that really soon. Alright, level 11. I remember this one really well too. So yeah, those, those platforms there that are moving, they can also be pretty deadly and uh, can also kill you. Which is... Uh, I guess it's a, a good thing for development because most games the platform doesn't kill you. So I, uh, I am using the Xbox 360 controller to play the game and how you use the Xbox 360 controller is before you start the game you turn on the 360 controller and you are ready to play. It's not, uh, don't start the Xbox 360 controller when the game boots, or you will have issues. Alright. It's not overly hard, this part, I don't believe. Get down there quick and run for it. And then we're off to get the last little gold pellet there and then we're on to the next level. Alright, level 12. Now I'm starting to get a little bit better with it. Oh yeah, that's right. Move the gold and then you are able to... Oh wow, he shot a weapon as soon as I shot him. Okay. Some levels that have some pretty awesome, uh, like, mazes in them, so have to do things properly. Alright. Now, it looks like the level is almost complete, but it is not. So, we have one more spot to go here. up here. This is one of the levels I guess you could say is a little more difficult. Oh, see? Yeah, 
the first part's a little bit easy, and then the next part after that is difficult. So this one I might actually have a, a more difficult time trying to beat. Alright. Got those enemies there done pretty quick. It's really a shame that he didn't add music to the game. He would have added a little more to it. But uh, maybe this was the beginning of his development uh, days, so that may be the reason why there was no music or sound effects in the game. Now, I'm not really even sure if this is the very first game JJ Soft Games actually made, so if it is, Wow, congratulations, because you made a really amazing game. Okay, so... Not really sure what I'm going to be doing here. There we go, got him. Alright, for some reason that enemy didn't want to die. There we go, got him. Now there's one other enemy to get. Yeah, some jumps look like they're going to be hard to take, but you can actually get them really, really well. Okay, so, there we go. Now on to level 13. I'm not really sure how many levels are in the game. But we will find out soon. And to note, you do not have to kill every enemy. So, all you have to do is collect all the gold. And like I said, one level, I believe, you don't have to collect all the gold. Just, um, just make sure you know you're aware of that. Okay. So yes, I know I haven't uh, done a video in a little while here, and quite happy to be doing it again. Okay, so here is again a new enemy in the game, a little snail. I'm not quite sure if he shoots anything, I can't remember, he just may move on the ground. Okay, so here's a really, uh, looks like it's going to be a little bit of a difficult one. Yep. Oh, oh, wow. There you go. Some suspense for you. I actually made it. Level 14. Here we go. Now this one looks a little repetitive. Of course, it looks like you're going to have to go down one line to the next line to the next line and so on and so on. Of course, there's going to be more to the level as you've just seen. So like most uh, retro games, yes, you shoot them, and they respawn. So, be careful with that. Oh. Alright, here we go. On to the final part. Now watch out for the cannon. I'm just applying this out. Obviously I can get down there and dodge the cannon ball. Jump and then we're on to the next part of the level. Where another drip is. Just randomly sitting there. Okay, so obviously we're gonna have to do that drip again. Okay, good, we made it. Another one of them wide jumps. Some gold. And dodge this thing again. And then get all the gold. And on to the next level. Here we go. Level 14 is now completed. And we are on to level 15. And this is going to be a, a pretty fun level, I believe. 
Ah, this one. Yes, I remember this one. So we we'll want to watch out for that. I can't remember what I was supposed to do in this. Oh, I think I know what I was supposed to do. So take the death there. I think that platform on the left actually goes up. Okay, so we'll do the left side first. killed myself there. There we go. I would have been able to do that perfectly if I knew knew that to be at the beginning. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of that in the game as well. And this is the one I believe you're gonna want to ignore all the other gold um, pellets in the game. What you have to do here is you have to jump down there and watch for watch out for the bugs and make a perfect center. So let's see if I did that. And I did. And I died. Okay, so maybe you have to redo the level. I'm not really 100% sure. Maybe I do go across, then I come back and I go down. Let's see what this is all about. This is the one level I had a difficult time with, so it would have been good to know beforehand what I'm supposed to do, because I would have made that perfectly and won the level. Alright, let's go. I'm not really sure if there's any more gold to collect here. find out soon. Now I like the sequel of uh, Troy 2000. I thought it was really enjoyable and of course the inclusion of actually adding bosses to the game was something uh, pretty uh, amazing. Uh, so yeah I did mess up. Means gonna have to exit continue. Okay, so we just have to collect the, the gold over there, and then we come back up and go to the center. Yeah, that's right. So collect this, and back up here, and then we jump to the center. We didn't even have to do all that. It's a, it's a pretty funny level, isn't it? Alright. Ah, oh, darn. Okay. I think this one and the last level are, are the ones I had more, more uh, difficulty with. The last one's going to be really funny. You pretty much get to beat the last level by luck. That's pretty much how that game goes, or that la level goes, sorry. So. Now we get to go down and get hit by them again. And this is going to go on for a little while. And eventually we'll hopefully be able to beat this level. Hopefully we'll be able to beat it now. So I guess I'll add that correction in now. You do have to collect all the gold nuggets in this level. You just don't have to go through the whole level. Just try and watch out for these stupid flying bugs and uh, get down there. There we go. We finally beat the level. Level 16 is now completed and on to level 17 now. Okay, so obviously you don't want to get those ones yet. This is a level where you have to backtrack. So this one is pretty funny. And it's not as difficult as it may look. You want to be able to jump on this thing here and then go all the way down like that. And of course.
course, watch out for that stupid water thing there again. Oh, and it almost got me. I really hate those water things. Watch out for that. We'll come back for that. Considering we have to go all the way back anyways, so. I love the graphics in the game. They're kind of uh, they kind of remind me of Snow Bros and Bubble Bobble a little bit. Unless the guys do the lovely. Uh, yeah, those are the sort of games I I really enjoyed as a kid. So it's pretty cool to actually uh, have a game like that for MS DOS. Corsato games, they are making more games. I believe right now he's got a game on on Android. I believe that one's called Puppy Wings or something. It's a, a nice little shmup. He did make a shmup uh, for the uh, the PC, and uh, you know, let's just say it was a, a little re repetitive. Uh, every level was or every, uh, it was repetitive because after a while you'd be playing like the same bosses over and over, and then you get to episode two and it was the same thing, so, I mean, it wasn't a, a totally boring game, it was just that, yeah, uh, things just got a little repetitive and overplayed a bit much. And in this game, you might come across a few levels where, it was overplayed again, and, and I, I think you, they just got kind of lost with wanting to do more levels, so they were just re-threw an, another level and maybe added a few extras to make it more difficult. <sighs> Alright, so, got to do this water one again. And now we have to get back to the beginning of the level. This part might be a little more difficult now. Because we have to be able to get to the... Uh, ah, jeez. It's not that simple, is it? Alright. Getting up was more difficult than it was getting down. Alright, so now level 17 is completed, and on to level 18. I'm not really sure how many levels are in the game, I can't remember. That may have been explained in the, uh, in the review, so if you want, you can go watch that cool little video. course this video is going to be a little long. Hopefully I'll be able to actually um, be able to get this on YouTube as I'm speaking now. The internet is very bad in this area. We're in a rural area so we get uh, 200k download and I'm not even sure what upload is. So it's about 2 meg connection here. And I, I know it's awful, but that is all we can get in this area. And I don't know if you've seen there. Obviously, you didn't. I was actually trying to shoot that enemy, and the button got sticky. Now, of course, uh, yeah, it, it's a classic game, and, and sometimes you'll run into that sort of uh, uh, control in the game. Now, I, I hope we can actually get fur past this level too many useless deaths now. I should have actually recorded how many times I died. That would have made this video even more interesting. Well, I can still do that. Just watch through the video. Alright. There we go. Got that. Now we have to go down here and grab this golden nugget. Let's see if we can go up here. Uh, I 
to shoot him, it doesn't matter, he'll return anyways. Just like that guy did. Okay, where are we? Okay, so over here. Okay. Good. Maybe we were able to get that jump. Go over here. Oh boy. No. I'm not doing that. Alright. That was pretty close, that one. Uh, Alright. Okay, got the golden nugget there. Now I think we are on to the final, final part. Okay, I gotta make this jump. Get this one here, and this is the last? Nope. One more. I can't even remember where it is. There it is. Alright. There we go. Level 18 is completed. On to level 19. And those stupid flying things are in here again. So, we gotta make sure we can get the jump. And we did. And as you can see, it was... A it looked like I had just a little bit of toe to get to the platform to actually make it here, so yeah, that's pretty funny. Alright, over here. And then down here. Sorry, my throat's bothering me a little bit. Alright. Okay, so this made it just a little bit easier now to get the rest of these gold nuggets. seem to have a little bit of a difficult time to try and fall in the hole. Alright. The final one. If I can get those two down there. Make sure the platform goes up so you can actually land this properly. Okay. Oh ho! I was wondering what was going to happen if I go down there like that. Okay. So we gotta dodge these stupid flies again. And here we go. Got the platform, got the golden nugget. And we could probably go down the other way, but I'm gonna be doing that safely. And I like this part. Because I can just go down here like this and shoot them. And then go over here and grab that one. And go over here, grab this one. And then remember that after I get those two down there, safely make it to the right. Go down straight down without actually moving because I will hit the spikes. Alright, here we go. Get down there, shoot him. Go over here. And this one. We made it. Okay. This one looks fun, doesn't it? We made it perfectly. Awesome. Okay. This is going to be great. And we made it. Oh, so close! Dang it. Looks like I hit another difficult level. And these flies are going to make it more difficult this time. Oh, fell into the spikes. Alright. Let's see. And fell on the spikes again. Yeah, it looks like I'm, I'm having a little trouble with this level. This one's going to be a really fun level. Oh, dodge them. Doesn't mean nothing yet. Got to be able to to beat this level. All right, here we go. So hopefully. 
hopefully we'll be able to get past those cannons this time. I don't know if this route was actually the smart way of doing it. But we beat them. There we go. Here we go, down here. Get the golden nugget over here. Get those other two. As you can see, yes, the levels are getting even more difficult now. Alright. Just keep shooting until you can get the guy on the other side. We were able to do it once, and we did it again. Alright. That's not overly difficult, because you can walk over those platforms so easily. Okay, so how are we going to do this now? We did it. And we got across there. Oh, Alright, wasn't overly difficult. And we're on to the next level. 19 is done. Level 20 on our way. Okay. supposed to go here. I don't know if I'm supposed to go that way. I'm going to try this way. Why not? This doesn't look overly difficult. Until you get, see those stupid uh, water drips there. Nuggets now, and they want you to redo this all over again. Okay. Got that stupid fly. Watch out for the spike. Try and go for the top part. Now it looks like the levels are getting even more difficult as I keep repeating that now. Alright. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright. Shoot him. Grab those two nuggets, and then repeat again. We go back up, destroy those two flies, come back down to grab that one last nugget. If I miss it, then I have to repeat it again. Oh, it's one of those awesome ones. Guess we didn't have to get the fly, but we'll do it anyway. Make it a little more easy. Okay. Time to grab the last one. And we're on to the next level. I'm glad I didn't have to repeat this one over and over, because this would have been annoying. Okay. And here we go. Grab the last nugget here, and there. Level 20 is finished. Not, not a, a very annoying level, but uh, not a very enjoyable one, I'll say that. Okay, let's see what's over here. Uh, just an enemy. Okay. Go over here.
Whoa, that was close. I hate those stupid drips. Okay. Make your jumps quick. Obviously, we're still not done this level yet. And I believe that is where we get the rest of the golden nuggets. And we should be able to beat the level. go. Unless I forgot one. Yay! Channel 21 is done. And here is another rehash level. Okay, so as I said, they will rehash levels uh, by adding more enemies, I suppose. So, it's not overly difficult. It's just the first level with snails and well, there's another new enemy, and... Oh! I guess they just shoot a lot faster. Alright. Okay. There we go. Level 22 is completed. On to level 23, where it's another rehash level. This time of the second level. This one, I guess you could say, is a little more difficult because now they have enemies on almost every platform. I think they just had two enemies at the top, and that is it. Now it's basically like the second level, and we'll be able to beat this one no problem now. Got him. And the last golden nugget on to level 24. Which, again, the same as the third level. So I believe we have now come across. We are coming close to the end of the game, I believe. I'm not really uh, sure. one more enemy now, this should be even more easy. Okay, he's done. Get the last two good golden nuggets and we're at it. Oh, this made uh, these uh, levels being redone made it a little bit easier to get through. Okay, so this one here. Whew, I can't remember how I did this. I think I just went like that. And uh, and that's it. So it's not that difficult. Jump over the spikes to get the golden nuggets. And there we go. Got all those nuggets. And him. Hmm, I remember this part. What you should do is just shoot all the enemies so they can't get you. And they <laughs> end up doing that. This level might take a little while to actually get through. And it's all because of those stupid, stupid flies. A very well done um, level here with more difficulty. Now that part's a little simple. It was just my foolishness of jumping too small. Just a small jump. Alright. There we go. Oh, 
squiddy octopus things are shooting their stuff real quick. Okay. So what are we going to do here? I'm just going to wait for all of them to shoot. And there we go. We did it. And now it's time for the final part here. Get all these jewels or gold nuggets. Alright, let's see how we're going to do this here. This little platform. There we go. On to level 26. And more cannons. Yay. Love the cannon. Alright. Oh! Gotta go with that quick, don't I? And now we're starting the levels where you have to do real quick movement, so... You gotta think real quick and just go with it. <laughs> I should have already knew what I was supposed to do there. Okay. The good thing about this, uh, the beginning of the level, they give you a little bit of a pause so you can actually uh, get to the um, cannons pretty quick. So, right here, you just want to keep moving and go. Alright, then jump, and then jump, and then jump again, and then go all the way to the right and not get hit by those spikes. Okay, I guess I'm supposed to jump here. And here we go, spikes again. And we go down with that, let it go back up, and we go down. Oh, wow. Oh. Alright. This is all about platform jumping in this one. Alright, keep your lasers going, because there might be an enemy here. And there was. Oh. It's not too difficult. Go up there, collect the last four, and we're on to level 27. Hmm. All right. So here's the level that kind of reminds me of the uh, Mega Man level. You gotta do things quick. And there we go. We did it. Not overly difficult. Just just go quick and you've you've done it. All right, on to level 28. And I believe now we are almost done the game. I think it goes up to level 30, but I'm not really sure. So. How did that happen? Okay, here we go again. My guess is just to go down the other part, maybe. Alright. Got him. And then we go down here. And go back up again. Ah! Oh! Buggers. Okay. Hmm. Made it down there pretty simple and easy the last time. There we go. Go over here. Hmm, I think I have to kill myself. Because I was supposed to get all the, the golden nuggets in that first spot there. So, we're going to have to do this now. 
do a crazy jump, I suppose, to get to the other side. And there we go. Got all the gold nuggets there. Now we go down here and get killed by that stupid squid thing. Ah! Alright, down here. Get the golden nuggets. And jump. There we go. Go down here. Shoot him. Go down here again. Shoot him. Alright. There we go. Now it should be a little bit easier to beat. Ugh! I just should have went with it. Darn! Okay, here we go. Another uh, somewhat difficult level, I guess. Make your platforms correctly here. Alright. Down in the hole. Got him. Don't go down there or the, the enemy will respawn itself. Now we got the gold nugget there. That's it. Get the snail. Okay, how are we going to do this? There we go. Nope, we're going to go back here again and get killed. Ah! <laughs> Gotta go quick with it. Alright, here we go, down here. Get the nugget. I think I've died more in this level than I have in actually any of the levels. Okay. It's more of the later levels that you are, are going to see me die more times than you should. Oh, come on! Not even fair. Jump the platform there. Ah, oh, come on! No! I'm getting a little frustrated now. Okay, jump up, grab the nugget, go to this one here, go, go over there, grab that one, grab this one and this one, go over here, shoot this guy, alright, dodge the cannonball, grab this, that was stupid. Oh, come on. Let me beat this level. Of course, throughout the video, I was sounding majorly calm. Now I'm sounding a little more annoyed. I hate this level. Okay. Can we beat it now? Can we beat this level? Got that. And here, dodge the bullet. Grab that. Go down here. Shoot him. Go over here. Go over there. And nope. And then back down here. Shoot him again. And then we go down here. Grab the gold nuggets there. And then here in there, and then shoot him. I almost got killed there. <sighs> and the last four gold nuggets, and we're out of this level. Yay, level 28! We were the most difficult. Alright. And this one here is kind of difficult. Yeah, so I believe this is close to the end of the game now. Alright, yeah, grab that, go back up here again. We 
wait for it to come down, then go up, and then jump. Yeah, just jump up there. Watch out for stupid snail guy. And jump down here again. Go back on the platform, jump up. Here we go. I think there's a lot of water dripping uh, in this. Okay. I think this actually might be the last level. But I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, there we go. Alright. I believe this is actually the last level. And as you can see, they are the most difficult. jump up here and then jump over that there we go there we go oh that was close there we go made that Okay. Ha! <laughs> what did I do here now? I think I just quickly go down there and grab it. And I think what I did here was I jumped halfway through or something. Nope! Whew. Yeah, this is... This is the last level, I remember this correctly. Because it is one of the more difficult levels in the game. First time I played it, I remember getting killed so many times. Of course with uh, the regular uh, DOSBox emulator, you're able to do quick save slots, so you can just redo that part over and over if you want to. I don't think that's how I did it, but uh can't really remember either, so... Of course this is going to be more difficult, because the countless water drips. I wish I could jump, and now I have to do it again, oh, Christ, there we go, so, like that, and go over here, Can't even remember. Okay, so this again. Now I'm gonna have more difficult trying to get past the first part of the level. Okay. That part almost got me. Not quite. So yeah, wait for that platform to come down, go over the gold nugget. Do not wait until the platform is there. Or you'll get hit by it, so... Bam.
until the cannon shoots. I think what we're supposed to do is, once we get those four uh, gold nuggets in here, I'm supposed to actually like jump halfway or something. Like, like that. But, I didn't. Whew. Okay, doing it again. Yes, this is one of the uh, more annoying levels in the game, as you can see. This one has been done so many times. But it goes with James Sato's excellent level development. Very amazing at, at uh, level uh, developing. Super concentration mode here. I used to think this was the most difficult part. But you know when to jump. Alright. this part again. It's going to be able to jump at least to the middle part there. Oh, come on! You can do it! Okay. Oh, that was dumb. Okay. Almost got killed by that. Alright, here we go again. Wait. Grab it. Wait again. Go up. Jump. part's not the most difficult part. This part is mediocre. I could jump, have jumped that, but for some reason the buttons are getting sticky. You could have probably jumped that too. Nope. There we go. To worry about that last platform. Okay. Very, very hard this part. But I think I know what I'm supposed to do. Supposed to go here, then go back here, and then I can land on the platform properly, like that. Jump down here, take that, and there we go. Okay, well, that uh, would have been the smarter way of doing things. Level 29 is complete, we're on to level 30, and I believe this is the final level, and as I said at the beginning of the game, um, 
It's nothing special. You just collect, collect the gold. And I think there's actually another level. Again, it's nothing special. You just collect the gold. Or no, a special, special ending. Okay. Let's see if I can jump to get that one. I guess I'm supposed to get it at higher. Nope. Okay. There we go. Got it. Got him. Alright. Of course, everybody knows where that comes from. Okay. Bam! Level 30 is completed, and now we're on to level 31. Oh, wait, level 30. Okay. I have beat the game. Okay, actually, that thing I was mentioning before, I believe that was in Troy 2000. You have a choice of collecting the girlfriend or the golden nuggets. So, um, there you go. I have beat um, Troy for MS-DOS, created by James J. Sato. And uh, that was 1996. So, that is uh, Troy. I really hope you enjoyed watching me play through this game. And uh, I, I wish I could have made it a little bit more exciting, but as said, there's no music in the game. No sound effects, so I, I had to do what I had to do here. And, uh, hey, I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. Come back. Uh, watch another video on my, on my channel. Uh, leave a comment. Thank you very much. And we'll see you again.